A triangle has angles measuring 15 degrees, 45 degrees and 120 degrees. The side opposite the 45 degrees angle is 20 units in length. Then we have to find out the area of the triangle and express it in the form of m minus n root q where q is a prime number and we were asked to find out the value of m plus n plus q. So we have been given a triangle in which the angles are 15 degrees, 45 degrees, 120 degrees and we need to find out the area of the triangle given that opposite to 45 degrees we have side measuring 20 units. Now we can solve this problem in so many ways. In the first we will try to solve it in couple of methods. In the first method we will consider that we don't know what is the value of 15 degrees. We know only 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 45 degrees for trigonometric ratios. So let me just write it down. So what we know is that If the angles are in the ratio 45, 45, 90 degrees, then the sides are in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to root 2. And if the angles are in the ratio 30, 60, 90, or the angles are 30, 60, 90, then the sides are 1 is to root 3 is to 2 ratio. Now this information will try to leverage and try to find out the area of this triangle. So for that if we observe a little bit, now how we can get this 15 degrees into known angle. So I observe that 45 minus 15 is 30 degrees and also 180 minus 120 is 60 degrees. So if I am able to extend this figure in such a way that I can get 30 degrees and 60 degrees or let's try to make this into isosceles right angle triangle then we should be able to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and try to do that. For that I will extend this triangle and from this vertex we will try to drop a perpendicular in that scenario we can go ahead and say that this angle is 30 degrees this is 90 degrees and this angle is 60 degrees now our problem is done because we know that one side is 20 degrees and we know the angles are in 30, 60, 90. So I can easily write down that this value is 10 and this value is 10 root 3 because they follow 1 is to root 3 is to 2. So let's put some alphabets there. Let us say this is A and we have B here and we have C here and this is D. We know that AD equals to CD because ADC is a isosceles right angle triangle. So if CD is 10 root 3 then AD is also 10 root 3 which gives us that AB is equal to 10 into root 3 minus 1. Once we know AB equals to 10 into root 3 minus 1 we can go ahead immediately and say area of triangle ABC is equal to half into base into height considering base as AB we have the altitude there waiting for us that is CD so we can write down half into 10 into root 3 minus 1 and multiply that with 10 root 3 simplifying we will get 150 minus 50 root 3 which is in the form of M minus N root Q so the value of m plus n plus q will be 150 plus 50 plus 3 that is equals to 203. Now what we have done simply is we have extended, extended this side. We consider this as obtuse triangle with AB as the base. Then the altitude will be coming out. 
it will be outside the triangle since it's an obtuse triangle so we know ab is the base and cd is the height since we know bc is 20 we can easily find out what is ab and cd we can find out the area of the triangle now let us see another method of solving this in this scenario we know what is sin 15 and cos 15 the second method will try to divide this triangle into two triangles such that we will have one isosceles right angle triangle so this will be 90 degrees and this is 45 degrees on the other side we have 75 degrees so let us take our base as AC then our altitude will be H this is our base and the we need to find out what is AC then our answer will be area of triangle ABC is equals to half into base AC and multiply that with height H so we need to find out what is AC and what is H if we consider this triangle let's put some alphabet there let us say that is D if you consider triangle BDC we have 20 here and we have 15 degrees here so this will be sin 15 and this will be cos 15 so let's write down what's the value of them so sin 15 is equal to root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 and cos 15 degrees is equals to root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 now these are the values of sin 15 and cos 15 then we can see that ac will be we'll write down ac equals to half into ad plus dc into height now ad is nothing but equals to h because we have this is an isosceles right angle triangle ad equals to bd and bd is 20 sin 15 so i can write down 20 sin 15 plus dc that is 20 cos 15 multiply that with h h is again 20 sin 15 we can write down here ad is equals to bd now let us simplify this we will have half into 20 into 20 if we take the numbers out we have sin 15 that is root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 plus root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 and multiply that with root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 so half into 20 into 20 can we say that is 200 into root 3 minus 1 plus root 3 plus 1 that will be 2 root 3 divided by 2 root 2 multiply with root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 simplifying that we will get 150 minus 50 root 3 2 root 2 into 2 root 2 8 and that will go 25 times so we have 50 root 3 into root 3 minus 1 that is 150 minus 50 root 3 so m plus n plus q is equals to 150 plus 50 plus 3 which is equals to 203 now there is another method in which you can solve this in that method you can try this method I'll just give you a hint <coughs> in that method we can take BC as the base and we can expand this and we can drop a perpendicular then this will be our height so our 
base is here and the height is here we can do that way too that will be the third method you can give a try to that so let me just recap what we have done here we took the triangle we divided it into two parts one isosceles right angle triangle and we know length is 20 15 degrees so sine 15 cos 15 sine 15 here 20 sine 15 then this is also 20 sine 15 because this is an isosceles right angle triangle so we substituted the values we got m plus n plus q equals to 203. say minus 0.5.